I'm so tired. I just woke up. Let me show you how to create that effect. Okay, first things first. Let's start a fusion composition. New fusion. Let's call this waking up. I'm going to change the frame rate to 25 and create. There you go. So let's drop it onto the timeline as well above our clip. And now we don't see our clip anymore, which is beneath it. Let's go to the fusion tab. And let's start building this out. So the first thing that we need is a background. So let's click it. There you go. So we've got a background and a merge. And we don't really need this merge one. You can if you want to add something on top. But in this case, we're not. So shift, click it, move it away, delete it. Now it's gone. So let's attach these two together. And we have a background and we have our media out, which is here. I don't want to use the entire space, so 9020 by 1080. So I'm going to use a rectangle and that will change this. So now this is what we see. This is basically our mask of the background, but it's not covering the entire screen. But that's okay because we are just going to change the width and the height both to one. So now everything is covered, but the problem is we don't have that effect here and we're going to create it by inverting the selection, which means that if we change the height from one to zero, you see what is happening right here. And this is our blink effect. And we need to animate this. So let's undo it. Let's put it on uh, one. For the first frame or frame number zero, we're going to drag it all the way to the left and we're going to create a keyframe. Now we're going forward four frames, one, two, three, four. And we're going to open up our eyes. So we're going to make sure that this value is set to one. I want to keep my eyes open for two seconds, which means this is a 25 frames per second timeline, which means 50 frames is two seconds. So let's go to frame number 54 because we were already four frames in. I'm going to create another keyframe and I'm going forward four frames because that will be the time that we need to close our eyes. I'm going to drag this to the left. It automatically creates a keyframe. And I want my eyes to be sharp for six frames. And now I want them open again. So let's change the value back to one. And we can just keep them open for, let's say, a second in this case. So that's 25 frames extra. So that means 69 plus 20 is 89 frames. And here we're going to create a keyframe again. It's going to take us four frames again to close our eyes. And we're going to close them for six frames again. And we're going to open them up by changing the value back to one. Now watch what happens when I play this. So now our eyes are open, shut open, shut open. There you go. You can keep creating keyframes, but I think you get the point. But is, if you look at the, is it's very harsh. So the lines are very, very harsh. I want to blur those out. So let's click on the background. Let's hit shift space bar and let's go to blur. And in this case, I want the lens blur to be used. Let's click add and it will automatically be added between these two. If it doesn't for whatever reason, so let's say it's over here, just hold your shift button, click it and drag it in between and it will be connected automatically. Now you see that it already becomes a little bit more soft. So I want to change the blur size just a little bit because we do have whiskers as well. And let's go back to the rectangle one. And this is very straight, but I want to change the corner radius and have it resemble a little bit more like eyes. There you go. And you'll see that this looks absolutely amazing. So let's go back to the edit tab and let me play you this effect full screen. So now they're open, they're closing open, closing open. There you go. And that's how you create this effect. And that's it. I'm sure you want to see more of me. So click uh, that playlist over there or subscribe to my channel using that button down there. For this week, there's only one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. And until next time, doei!